Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spain on a Fork. Today we have such a fabulous episode. We are making four affordable Spanish dishes that use eggs. Guys, this is the real deal. All these dishes are loaded with big bowl Spanish flavors. They're made with the simplest ingredients and each one is done in under 30 minutes. This is the kind of food that you need in your life. Easy to make dishes that don't break the bank. All right, folks, let's dive right in because this is gonna be a blast. Really quick before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. For our first Spanish dish using eggs, we are making huevos a la flamenca, which translates to flamenco styled eggs. This is such a complex dish with so many incredible flavors. You got a crispy fried egg on top with a nice creamy egg yolk, a paprika sherry tomato sauce, and some roasted potatoes underneath. This promises to be one of the best dishes you've ever tasted, made with very simple ingredients that are very affordable, and it comes together in under 30 minutes. I'm going to begin by grabbing a medium-sized Yukon Go potato and cutting it into half-inch pieces. I've already washed this and patted it dry. And as you guys can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potato. This adds such a beautiful flavor to the potatoes. Once all the potatoes are cut, I'm going to add them into a large bowl. Pour in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to toss this all together until it's well combined. This is such an important step. That way that olive oil endo seasonings are evenly divided through each piece of potato. Then I'm going to transfer the potatoes into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Very important to use parchment paper. That way the potatoes don't stick. And make sure all the potatoes are in a single layer. That way they all roast evenly. And I'm gonna add the potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and roll option, 250 degrees Celsius, which is 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oven doesn't have the bake and roll option at the same time, no big deal, you just bake them for the exact same amount of time I'm gonna cook these, and then add them to the broiler between two to three minutes, keeping an eye on them, that way they don't burn. While the potatoes are roasting in the oven, I'm gonna grab a small saucepan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Two minutes after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced and two cloves of garlic that I finely minced. And I'm gonna start mixing the onions and the garlic with the extra virgin olive oil. Again, very important to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. Three minutes after adding the onions and the garlic into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, and quickly mix this together until everything's well combined. Then I'm gonna add in a generous teaspoon of sherry vinegar. And once again, continue to mix this, that way everything's well combined. Next up, I'm gonna grab one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and add it into the saucepan. A quarter cup of frozen peas. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And once again, mix everything together until it's well combined. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna lower the fire to a low medium heat and let this simmer while we move on to the next step of the recipe. Okay, we have our potatoes roasting in the oven and our tomato sauce is simmering. For the last step, I'm gonna grab a small fry pan, heat it with a medium high heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for about four minutes, I'm gonna add one egg into the pan. And I always like to crack my eggs into a bowl before I add them into the pan. This ensures you're gonna get no shells in there, as well as ensuring that that egg yolk is not broken. Now the secret to frying a crispy Spanish fried egg is you wanna tilt the pan, and using the back of a spatula, you splash that hot extra virgin olive oil all over the egg. And you don't want to go too long here, since this oil is hot, this egg will be done between 30 to 45 seconds. Once the egg whites are perfectly cooked and that egg yolk is still nice and creamy, I'm going to remove the egg from the pan, shaking off any of the excess oil, and transferring it to a dish. All right, we have our fried eggs done, our tomato sauce is simmering, and our potatoes have been in the oven for exactly 20 minutes. They should be perfectly roasted. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the oven. And let's start plating our dish. I'm gonna add the roasted potatoes into a shallow bowl. Add some of our paprika sherry tomato sauce over the potatoes. Add one of the crispy Spanish fried eggs on top. 
lightly seasoned egg with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And for the last touch, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Guys, our first dish is done seriously. Look at these huevos a la flamenca. This looks insanely delicious. You got the roasted potatoes, that incredible tomato sauce with that paprika and the sherry, and that crispy fried egg that just takes us over the top. So easy to make using a four ingredients, comes together in under 30 minutes. For our second Spanish dish using eggs, we are making scrambled eggs with asparagus. This is a very popular dish in the northern part of Spain. It's made with the simplest ingredients, but it has such an incredible flavor. You've got the asparagus, the garlic, and the eggs. When you combine these three together, it is an incredible explosion of flavors. So easy to make, done in under 20 minutes. I'm going to begin by grabbing 10 fresh asparagus and cutting them into one inch pieces. I always like to cut off about two inches from the bottom. These have already been washed and dried. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab two cloves of garlic and finely mince them. And for the last ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna crack four eggs into a large bowl and mix the eggs together until they're well combined. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a nonstick frying pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Two minutes after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add the pieces of asparagus into the pan and start mixing them around with the extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to mix this continuously, just get in there once in a while, that way they don't burn and they all cook evenly. Two minutes after adding the asparagus into the pan, you don't want to overcook them. You want them to be al dente, that way it has a beautiful crunch to this dish. I'm going to add in our minced garlic and continue to mix this together. At this point, you do want to mix this continuously, that way those garlics don't burn. 30 seconds after adding the garlic into the pan, and they're nice and fragrant, you don't want to overcook them. I'm going to lightly season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper and give it a quick mix so the seasonings are evenly divided. Then I'm gonna add our egg mixture into the pan. And start mixing the egg mixture with the asparagus and the garlics. You wanna mix this continuously. We are making a scramble here. And remember, we are on a medium heat, so we're gonna go between 60 to 90 seconds. You don't wanna overcook those eggs. After about 90 seconds, those eggs look perfectly scrambled. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat, season the eggs with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And once again, give this a quick mix. That way all the seasonings are evenly divided. And I'm gonna transfer the scrambled eggs and asparagus into a serving dish, guys. Our second dish is done, seriously. Look how insane this looks. Made with the simplest ingredients, but the flavors are out of this world good. You got those asparagus, they add an incredible earthiness to the dish, and they're cooked al dente, so they add a beautiful texture to the garlic and those perfectly scrambled eggs. Such an insane dish made with very affordable ingredients, done in under 20 minutes. Moving down the list to our third recipe, we are making crispy Spanish fried eggs with oven-baked french fries, guys. This is a very simple dish, but once again, promises to be one of the best things you've ever tasted. We're talking perfectly fried eggs with a creamy egg yolk next to some oven-baked fries. It does not get better than this. Very affordable ingredients, easy to make, and comes together in under 30 minutes. I'm gonna begin by cutting two medium-sized Yukon Go potatoes into the form of thick french fries. I've already washed these and patted them dry. I always like to cut off a quarter inch from each end, that way you can easily stand it up, and then cut them into vertical slices that are a quarter inch thick. And from each slice of potato, you should end up with four french fries. Once you have all your potatoes cut, add them into a large bowl, Drizzle in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And toss this all together until it's well combined. Once again, guys, this is a very important step. That way that olive oil and those seasonings are evenly divided through each piece of potato. 
Then I'm gonna transfer the potatoes into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And once again, make sure all the potatoes are in a single layer, that way they all cook evenly. And I'm gonna add the potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, 250 degrees Celsius, 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, once again, if you don't have the bake and roll option, no big deal. Just bake your potatoes in the exact same time I'm baking these and then throw them in the broiler between two to three minutes. While our French fries are in the oven, let's make a couple crispy Spanish fried eggs. I'm gonna be using the same pan that I used in the first recipe, which already has some extra virgin olive oil in it. I'm gonna heat it with a medium high heat. If it needs a little bit more oil, just add in another tablespoon. Once the oil gets nice and hot, it's been about four minutes, I'm gonna add an egg into the pan. Like I told you guys earlier, I like to add my eggs into a bowl before I add them into the pan. That way there's no shells involved and it also ensures that the egg yolk will break. And we're gonna fry this egg like we did in the first recipe. Just tilt that pan and using the back of a spatula, just grab that hot extra virgin olive oil and put it on top of the egg. And again, guys, this is gonna be done within 30 to 45 seconds. You don't wanna overcook it. You want that egg yolk to be nice and creamy. And I'm gonna continue cooking another Spanish fried egg. Guys, very important to cook these in batches. That way the eggs cook perfectly. And remember to tilt that pan and using the back of a spatula, splash that hot extra virgin olive oil all over the egg. Okay, our fried eggs are done and it's been exactly 20 minutes since we added the French fries into the oven and they should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Transfer some of the oven baked french fries into a serving dish. Add a couple of our crispy Spanish fried eggs. Lightly season the eggs with a little sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. I'm gonna sprinkle the eggs with a kiss of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. This is gonna add an incredible depth of flavors to this dish. And for the final touch, I'm gonna to sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Guys, our third Spanish dish using eggs is done. Seriously, look how insane this looks. Such simple and humble ingredients, but when you combine them together, you get an incredible explosion of flavors. Those eggs are perfectly fried with that creamy egg yolk and those oven baked fries. Incredible dish, so easy to put together. Done in under 30 minutes. For our fourth and final Spanish dish using eggs, we're making a spinach omelet with tomatoes. This is truly such a healthy dish and it has an incredible flavor to it. Once again, using the simplest ingredients that are very affordable and it comes together in under 20 minutes. I'm gonna begin by grabbing two cups of fresh spinach. This is bag spinach, I love this stuff. It's pre-cleaned, pre-cut, and it's very affordable. I'm gonna finally mince one large clove of garlic. And for the final ingredient, I'm gonna crack in three eggs into a large bowl and beat the eggs until they're well mixed. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a nonstick frying pan. Very important to use a good quality nonstick frying pan here. Heat it with a medium heat and add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add the two cups of spinach in there and start mixing the spinach around with the extra virgin olive oil. You wanna mix this continuously, that way that spinach is not burned and it's all evenly cooked. About two minutes after adding the spinach into the pan and it's nice and welted, I'm gonna add in the minced garlic and continue to mix this together. 30 seconds after adding the garlic into the pan, and it's nice and fragrant. Once again, you don't want to overcook it. I'm gonna add in the egg mixture. Make sure you evenly divide it around the pan. I'm gonna season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And give this a gentle mix. That way everything's evenly divided. and you wanna get in there with a spatula, you just run it through the outer edges to ensure that the omelet's not sticking to the pan. Two minutes after adding the egg mixture into the pan, I'm gonna start forming this omelet. I'm gonna grab one of the sides and fold it to the middle, and grab the other side and fold it to the middle as well. 
And this right here is the design that you typically find here in Spain when you order an omelet. After about 30 seconds, I'm gonna flip the omelet to cut the other side. Okay guys, it's been 30 seconds since I flipped the omelet. This looks perfectly cooked. I'm gonna remove this from the heat and transfer it into a serving dish. I'm gonna thinly slice one fresh tomato, add the slices of tomato to the dish, and season the tomatoes with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. Guys, our fourth and final Spanish dish using eggs is done. Seriously, look how beautiful this omelet is, and the flavors are out of this world. Between that spinach, the garlic, and the eggs, it's an explosion, and those tomatoes add a nice freshness to the dish. Very simple ingredients, easy to make, done in under 20 minutes. <laughs> and that's it, guys. All four of our Spanish dishes using eggs are done. You guys saw how easy it was to make each one and each one loaded with a beautiful Spanish flavor. Make these at home, you're gonna absolutely love them. So easy to put together and they're not gonna break the bank. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Michael and Kelly Thompson. Again guys, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you wanna support Spain on Fork on Patreon, help me with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find that link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.